Hello everyone, Lakeisha here and we are celebrating the first day of spring by looking at some jewelry and we know that it is the first day of spring but let's see what else is celebrated today. So today is International Day of Happiness. So if you're happy and you know it, celebrate it on International Day of Happiness. It's also National Proposal Day. Whether you're planning a giant flash mob or a romantic dinner, it's the day we celebrate proposals in all their forms. National Ravioli Day. Triple cheese, wild mushroom, butternut squash, ravioli can handle just about anything. Act Happy Day. No matter what the situation is, choose to stay positive, laugh, smile, and be happy. It's Alien Abduction Day. Do you believe in aliens? Maybe you will when you're done reading this. It's also Dogs in Yellow Day. All the hashtag dogs in yellow need is some space, then the world feels less terrifying. It is Extraterrestrial Abductions Day. We already read about that. It's also French Language Day. Celebrate with some French culture, language, and history as we parlez-vous français. It's Great American Meat Out. Join us as we delve into the risks associated with relying on farm animals for food. Okay. It is Kiss Your Fiance Day. Get ready to shower your beloved with kisses this National Kiss Your Fiance Day. We see uh, they can make up a national holiday about anything. Macaroon Day is Macaroon Day, and we're talking all things tasty, so prepare to have your taste buds wild. And I want a macaroon now. National Jump out day jumping activities with friends can lighten up the mood and strengthen friendships unless you fall then that could be a terrible terrible thing and it's national native hiv aids awareness day put on your boxing gloves for the fight against hiv and aids national vanessa day the name vanessa is worthy of celebration for a variety of reasons and look i didn't even know my aunt vanessa had her own day and it is Won't You Be My Neighbor Day. Go on and do something neighborly on this Won't You Be My Neighbor Day. I, I didn't even know. And World Flower Day, World Frog Day, World Oral Health Day, World Sparrow Day, World Storytelling Day is Baron Trump's birthday. Donald Trump's youngest son has always been in the spotlight. And it's Fred Rogers' birthday. The children's show host was amongst the most loved television personalities in the U.S. And I do know that I watched um, that movie. That was actually a great movie. I loved it. So, in honor of spring, let's get to springing and look at some of these awesome, awesome uh, pieces that we have here. And I did have uh, some more pieces that were supposed to be delivered today, but because of a problem with my postal carrier, they did not deliver my mail on Saturday and they did not deliver the mail today. So hopefully it will get delivered on tomorrow um, because I'll be out there to make sure that happens. But up first we have something which is number 40, just in time for spring. Look at these gorgeous pinwheels. And we have overlapping silver petals blooming from a turquoise stone beaded as they gently curve into a pinwheel-like flower resulting in a seasonal pop of color. Earring attaches to a standard fishhook fitting. And let's just look at this. And this light is so bright. But look how beautiful that is. And that is gonna go with so many different things. It, it's a very lightweight earring. Um, surprisingly, it's just beautiful though. It's number 40. And up next we have 41, which is Garden Escapade in pink. And we've seen this ring because we also have 42, which is purple. And I said that this was the ring that reminds me of Prince for whatever reason, I don't even know. But we have a flower, it's like a 3D flower that's sticking out. We have these pink rhinestones. And then in the center we have a clear rhinestone. It has that stretchy back to it, which is gonna 
just fit any ring size my fingers are smaller here but just look how gorgeous that ring is and then if you want it to also get it in purple you can do that as well so the purple is 42 and the pink is 41 and I neglected to say if you're watching the live video you can comment sold and the item will be yours but you can send me a screenshot as well and we'll get you all taken care of and number 43 is royal rumble this is a beautiful beautiful necklace look how beautiful that is number 43 we have dazzling gems in both round and emerald cuts they fall along the collar and in the alternating pattern each gem is splashed in an emerald green hue amplifying its impact while the emerald cut gems showcase some glittery bling with a border of tiny white rhinestones check that out that's just gorgeous just look at that and we also have our complimentary earrings we have our a extender and we have our lobster claw closure and just look how beautiful that is just gorgeous James, I'm going to need you to turn that down, please. And that is number 43. I can still hear it. Just a beautiful, beautiful necklace. I thought he was going upstairs, but he's still down here. And we have number 44, which is our Parisian pearls and purple. And how gorgeous this is. Just make sure that it's coming on the camera properly. We have a we have lavender beads brushed in a pearlescent finish. Then this phone's going off. And they're strung through glistening silver wires in a refined display, infused with transparent and lavender beads. And let's take a look at this. This is just gorgeous. We have our complimentary earrings here, which are two uh, lavender beads. We have our extender, and we have our lobster claw closure. And this is beautiful just in time for spring, just in time uh, for Easter service, resurrection, Sunday service, whatever you want to call it. It's beautiful. That is a beautiful spring color. And that is number 44. Up next, we have the Authentic Admirer in blue, which is number 45. This, again, is a beautiful statement piece. We have this bold turquoise heart uh, that is in the center of a beautiful chain. And we have a thick silver chain. And this stone is press into a, tur a textured studded silver heart and textured studded silver heart. We have our complimentary earrings. We have the lobster claw closure and the extender. And it, the, the description says a thick silver chain, which it definitely is. And that's why I like to sometimes read from that paper, but also add my own little spin to it but this is gorgeous and we do have a couple of these on hand so claim them while we have them because they are no longer available on the website that's number 45 and we have the beach hub in pink which is going to be number 46 now this necklace is a longer necklace but it is so beautiful in this pink so so beautiful. I feel like Jermaine Death, so, so death. Uh, Jermaine Dupree, so, so death. Look how beautiful this necklace is. That pink, it's just like a fluorescent pink. And I had um, ordered one of these and as soon as I showed it, it was gone. So I had to order a couple more. But this is a beautiful necklace. It's number 46. But just check out these complimentary earrings larger and it's like a fluorescent pink it stands out it definitely has some sparkle to it we have our extender and we have the lobster claw closure and this just take a look at that you have to just see that this thing is gorgeous it is number 46 
the salon retain, which is why we have it on the bus. And I have to show it to you again against that black because it sets that black off. That is gorgeous. Then we also have, you might want a longer chain, but we have it in red. And we're gonna skip to number 48 because I have no clue what happened to number 47. But we're gonna keep this party going. And this is number 48. And this is the same necklace, it's just in red. And that red, just look at that, that red is gorgeous too. It just sets it off. And all of our pieces tonight are $5 plus tax. You can get the pink necklace for $5 and you can get the red necklace for $5. So you can have both of them for $10 plus tax. You might say, I just want the pink one. That's fine. We're like Burger King, you can have it your way. You might just want the red one. That's fine too. You can just get that one also. But just look at these complimentary earrings. And I don't know, it's just something about the disc on these necklaces that make them really just stand out and again we have the pink and that pink is popping i'm telling you that pink is amazing like jesse lee peterson is amazing i love 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 that pink but the pink is 46 the red is 48 you can send me a picture or you can just say the pink a long, the long pink necklace or the long red necklace, whatever. We make it easy here. And then we have our glitzy goddess in blue, which is number 50. And to look around here. And of course it would be at the top of the shelf here. This is number 50 and this is the glitzy goddess. And guys, we are not going to be before you long because those other pieces, hopefully, they'll be delivered tomorrow. They are beautiful. I had to actually have my upline order them and send them to me, so you don't want to miss that. But we will be back tomorrow. But this is a beautiful necklace we have encased in silks. So sleek, silver fittings, a glamorous array of faceted blue marquise cut beads flawlessly a colson into a gorgeous statement piece below the collar for a jaw-dropping fashion and let me just show this to you up close and personal it is beautiful we have the larger complimentary earrings which i love we have the lobster claw closure and the extender so just check that out one last look and that is number 50. beautiful Next, we have 51, which, and actually, I don't know what happened to my numbers, guys, but it's actually 52. So, if I can do this, you can do it, because some of these numbers are missing. I shouldn't have picked the 40s or 50s, I guess. This is 52, and we have the glimmering groves in green. Look at that line green color that is beautiful just in time for summer we have airy frames formed from swirls of filigree fan out among the collar and a vintage display shiny basil beads are pressed into three centermost frames and we have the smaller floral inspired accents on either side adding a touch of vintage flair Just look how beautiful that is we have our complimentary earrings we have the thicker chain as paparazzi described and we also have the extender and the lobster pot closure but just take a look at that just beautiful and to me it's like a lime green just in time for spring and it would go great with those um teardrop earrings that have all the different springy colors i should have pulled them out but i did not but i'll take a picture in post it and so tomorrow we'll have light up the opera the crowning collection multi necklace that necklace is bad you guys don't want to miss that and i only have a few so you definitely don't want to uh miss out on that because they're gonna go quick and next we have 53 which is the jewelry box ballable bracelet number 53 and just look how beautiful this necklace is of course we have the lobster claw closure and the extender encased in prong silver fittings, a mismatched collection of white 
hematite and opal rhinestones delicately linked with a stuttered silver frame around the wrist for a sentimental sparkle. And that is a gorgeous bracelet. And it will go great, I think, with the white necklace. I'm going to have to pair it up and post a picture. And number 54 is the Badlands Basin. Down 44. Let's see if I can do it. You can do it. Number 54. Beautiful necklace. We have rounded spade shaped plates of silver are filled with studded texture, creating a dizzying detail. Small pink peacock stones separate each silver plate and are nestled among the raised dots with tiny embossed leaves. You guys see them? And we have our complimentary earrings. We have our lots of clock closure and that extender. And this is a beautiful pink necklace just in time for spring. Now we just need it to warm up and start feeling like spring around here. That is number 54. And we are almost done and when i originally received a bracelet like this which is number 55 i mistakenly said that it was for men now when i was showing it i had a gentleman and he was like that seems kind of uh feminine you sure that's for a man and i was like yeah but the tag is pink and the men's things are black hmm. That's okay, we have a brown leather ribbon delicately gathering into pleats around the wrist. A glittery strand of white rhinestones adorns the center of the pleats, adding a glitzy accent to the textured centerpiece. And this features an adjustable sliding knot closure right here. But if you are into that sort of thing, that may be the bracelet for you. That's number 55, pretty, pretty pleats. And next up, we have number 56, which is actually part of the men's line. We have a mismatch assortment of silver rings, black lava rock beads, and distressed brown and black wooden beads threaded along the stretchy band around the wrist for an earthly flare. Now, even though this is part of the men's collection, a woman can wear it too. So that's a nice bracelet but our men's line i'm um, definitely has quite the variety and we have a few pieces on hand so hey go for it, paparazzi now we have our prismatic pizzazz and silver this is number 57 we have a pair of dainty and flat silver bangles join a silver bangle adorned in a smoky and hematite crystal like beads around the wrist resulting in a stackable shimmer. And my wrist is small, but that is a nice bracelet stack. So that's number 57. And number 58, this is so cute. And I actually have missed this uh, during the initial new release drop and my upline, which is my cousin was like, hey, go. Get some of those, they're still available. We have a trio of silver beads encrusted in rhinestones centered along a strand of classic baby pink pearls. The beads are threaded along a stretchy band wrapping around the wrist and a refined finish. So this is a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. And again, guess what I'm gonna say? Just in time for spring, just in time for that Resurrection Sunday service. And we have several pink necklaces that will match this perfectly, which I should have gotten out. But don't worry, we will take the pictures and post them. This is a stretchy bracelet, so hey, the wrist size is not an issue here, but this is gorgeous. And that's number 58. And we have our shareholder in white. I don't even know what the first word is, and I'm not even gonna try to attempt to pronounce that paparazzi in these names. But this is a beautiful, beautiful pair of oversized oblong silver hoops rippling with subtle hammered textural, and they're going to swing below the ear. So just to show you, this is going to be a larger earring. If you're not 
into large earrings. It may not be the earring for you. It has a little bit of weight to it, but not too much. We have the rhinestones that are drizzled along the outer port. And inside we have uh, the, the silver band that you can see. Has the fish back hook. And just a beautiful pair of earrings that it's going to set anything off. And I should have, I'll take a picture. Okay, and then we have number 60, which is our Bippity Boppity Boom. Again, paparazzi in these things. This is a dainty pair of earrings, number 60. And we have a border of glassy white rhinestones creating a glittery trim around an oversized blue teardrop gem resulting in a stunning centerpiece. Each earring attaches to standard fish hook fitting. And just take a look at that one more time. Now for some reason, I just knew that I had a necklace to match it. It was a green necklace, but I just knew I had something to match it. So that is so gorgeous. Definitely gonna have to get something. And last but not least, we have 61, which is a necklace that we've shown before. This is our, our Click Culture Gold Necklace. We have brilliant rhinestones that are encased in this circular disc, hangs on a gold chain. We have our complimentary earrings that are iridescent as well, beautiful. We have our extender and our lobster claw closure and just check this out just beautiful beautiful and that again is number 61 so that is our show for tonight ladies and gentlemen uh, we will be back tomorrow because we are making 30 days of videos or lives uh, so Happy first day of spring. Happy Monday. Keep in mind that nobody can ruin your day without your permission. So thank you for watching. Take care. Have a great day.